عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. In this short video, I'm going to explain uh, data analysis by downloading the data from the Google form and analyze them by using Excel. I'm going to explain how to get the mean from your data after encoding the data, that is to change them from uh, text to number. Uh, the first step is to go to your Google Drive, open your questionnaire, that is the Google Forum. It will be opened uh, into the questions. From here, of course, you can change or edit your questions. But for now, I want to um, get the responses for my Google Forum, for my questionnaire. As you know, this is a summary of the responses. As you see here, I have nine uh, responses. These are responses for gender. So six of them are male, three are female. And this uh, graph is for the GPA. As you know, or as you see here, we have graph for each question or each statement of the questionnaire. I can copy and paste the graph directly from here to my research. For example, if I am discussing the results for the first statement that I preview the full text before starting reading, if I want to preview or to represent the results and discuss them, I can copy the graph from here, click on this. So I copy it, as you see, this message, then I open my Word document where I type uh, my research, then I click on paste, so this is the graph. This is a, uh, a legend or explanation, so always, there is no always here, often, which is 55%, sometimes, and uh, uh, rarely, which is 22.2%. You can also include the graph only by clicking on crop. You can crop the picture like this. Just take the title and the key or the legend from it like this and click outside the icon, make the picture behind the text so you can move it freely in your research. So you can comment, you can write your introduction here before the graph and type your discussion below it. Okay, this is general. If you want to analyze it by using statistics, by using means and standard deviation, click on the icon of the Excel here. That means uh, <laughs> to create a spreadsheet, to download a file, an Excel file. So create a new spreadsheet. Yes, create, so I click here. Uh, it will ask me to download the file or it opens in Google Docs directly. So these are the answers. Let me download the file. So I click on file here. It is still loading. So I'm going to wait. See, this is level, gender, GPA. This is the first, second, third questions or statements. And these are the results. I'm going to change these results into number by following the uh, steps that I will say shortly. So choose download into Microsoft Excel format. I'm going to choose desktop for downloading the file. So desktop, this is the name of the file and save. Okay, now I save the file. It is found, as you see in, or as you know, in uh, the desktop. So I'm going to search for it. So this is reading strategies. Yeah, now I have my Excel opening. The file is opening now. So reading strategies, yes. So I will enable editing from here. As you see, I have these questions. One, two, three, four, and five questions. The answers here or the responses are, as I said yesterday, are textual in where, so I want to change them to number. I start by always 
control C or copy always, control F to search. Now I'm searching for all the instances of always, and I want to replace all the instances of this word with the number five and click on replace all. So as you see, here we have five, 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 and five, okay? The second to change is the word often. I paste it, control V, and change it to number four. Then replace, that's good. And sometimes, control C to copy, control V to paste. The number will be three and replace all I have rarely and I have never there is no never here so there is no problem I will just copy rarely paste it here and number two and replace all so these are the answers in my questionnaire there is no answer with never so these are the number as you know, five stands for always and four for often, three sometimes, and I have two for rarely, so these are the number. Now, if I want to count the mean for this answer, or the average, as I said yesterday, so this is the mean, I can make it larger, so you can uh, see it better, so this is the mean. The mean for this, as you know, these are the answers for the first question. And if I take them horizontally, these are the answers by one student. Okay? Vertically, the answers for one question. So, of course, I'm going to check the mean for the answer for the first question. So, the mean for the first question or the first statement, I click here and type equals average of all these values. Yes, and enter, so the value is 3.3333. So I can click here so as to, sorry, here, so as to make it a short, that is 3.33, and point to this small box here, and uh, click and drag to make it for all. Now, these are the uh, uh, means for my uh, responses I can copy them uh, into my uh, research and discuss them for for example for the first um, question it is 3.3 for the second it is 3.4 like this finally I'm going to go to my uh, table here that is strongly agree which will be always often like this and I'm going to count exactly what do these numbers mean for example 3.3 .3, it uh, will mean neutral uh, 3.44 will mean agree uh, 3.78 also agree 3.33 neutral and 3.56 neutral I'm going to make them and discuss them.